hell nah, you can't get in this session. Where was you when I was in the entrapping? Been the corner like X on bed. Okay, that is so much better. That is so much better. Let me zoom out. Just there we go. What's up, people? <sighs> so, as you can see, box braids are down. How oh, this video almost freaking didn't happen. Let me cut on these straightening arms. I got them on 410. Uh, this video almost just didn't happen because chronic fatigue set in. I did lose some hair right here. That's the only place I lost hair. Like, I had very minimum shedding after braids. Like, I was very, very shocked. Okay, so, um, yes, my chronic fatigue today has been very, very crazy y'all so yeah what i did earlier i washed my shampoo <laughs> i washed my shampoo i shampooed my hair with the silicon mix shampoo and um the conditioning treatment i do this every time i am about to straighten my hair um it just works really well and then i also use the paul mitchell skinny daily treatment i just noticed i get the smoothest results but this time i did two different things we're gonna see how it turns out i um excuse me i did a hot oil treatment Just because I've been back, 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 back and forth with um, braids since May. Okay, and then when my hair is really drenched, I spray this Afro G leave in um, conditioning treatment. It's just a pH balance, uh, a pH optimizer I spray it all over my hair um and then I wrap my hair up really good in the scarf I mean the scarf and the t-shirt I sit up there and I um do that business and then I normally use two I always use two um well, I use three uh, different heat protectors, which I do my wet ones, which is always the uh, John Frieda Frizzies, three days straight. This literally leaves my hair um, straight until I wash it. And then I got this. I wanted to incorporate this. This is the caviar or caviar anti-aging reconstructing bond repair leave-in heat protectant. It strengthens and protects damaged hair up into 450. I got this in either an Ipsy or a birch box. Okay, so my hair. It's either curly or straight. It holds no curl. Even when I straighten it. So I thought of the bright idea to bring back the wrap spray. So what I did is when I sprayed those two in my hair. Um, I kind of let it air dry a little bit. <clears throat> and then when it was like barely damp. I put a little bit of this in there and then I blew it out sister girl sister girl so then what i did before i did all of this i combed through my um 
my heat protectants, roots in. My hair was a lot straighter, but after blowing out all this hair, after blowing out all this hair, sis, I fell asleep. It is the dang this thing. Like, I was in my bed and I was watching American Horror Story and I just dozed off. I'm talking about slobbering everything like it's her it took everything out of me so I'm doing something different so if it works it works it doesn't it doesn't then I'm gonna show you how I kind of do my little silk press method I do it a little different and then I just uh got my curling arms for later after I do that just to add a little more defined curl but for the most part my roots are pretty straight now at this end of the show part of the show I go in with the um John Frieda Frizz Ease um extra strength six effect serum and it has a silk, silk protein and added control eliminates frizz humidity Protection, heat protection, smooths, hydrates, and tang. It says adds to wet hair, but I add. I literally add this to my hair a generous amount, like that. When I'm about to straight straighten it. And I've tried it wet and I don't really like it wet. So I think that is for because uh frizzies is actually for um Caucasian hair. Um or finer hair than mine's because my texture has changed a lot. And I'm just generous with it. I take my little fake dimming brush. Oh. I'm going to just try to brush it out. I said I was going to try to re-spritz it down. And blow it out. But I don't got time for that. Girl, girl, girl. And I think what I'm going to do is <laughs> I'm just going to start. I don't really do the chase method. What I do is I just make sure I comb product through it, my hair, and it just works for me. Like, like that. I just make sure I got product on all of my hair. It's just saturated, saturated. And I go from there. <laughs> and I work with thin sections. My base piercing is doing okay. It still hurts a little sometimes. I don't 
don't know what that's about. I try to keep it as clean as possible, guys. My ears as clean as possible. And then I'll start like with the little piece like this. You feel me, sis? You feel me? And I don't know if I should cut this. Like off right here. Okay. Hold on. Guys, about that. They put my dad on bed rest today, so I have to go. I have to answer my phone. And I have to answer my phone. And uh, when he calls, and I have to do little stuff for him, so. So, yeah. So, I'm going to tell y'all, but I ain't going to be talking the whole time. Because I'm trying to keep these videos down. I think I'm going to... Um, come back when I'm almost done after I do a few more rows but when you blow dry your hair guys you got to, the key to it is to get your roots as straight as freaking possible and your ends as freaking possible straight as possible but yeah like guys Was this big old spider on the porch and one thing i'm scared of i am scared of bugs but some bugs i kill like some bugs i kill like but them big big huge spiders man on the porch man them things i don't know where they be coming from but it has the nerve to have babies and i just kill this whole little habitat i mean i get all the little fly bugs be around the light but Bruh, when it comes to my hair, I don't got a lot of it, but I just always, like when I was a kid, I heard that spiders could lay eggs in your hair, and I just always been scared of that. I've always been scared of that, so I came in the house, and I swear, I sprayed half the bottle of flying insect spray on the mother freaker, because I ain't want that shite to get all in my hair. That's just ridiculous. How big them spiders be on them porches. And you know what? They used to make fun of me when I used to live in Louisiana. Because them bugs don't die down there. Guys, this might be the last time I ever straighten my hair before I lock up. I just thought about that and got sentimental. As far as like straightening my hair though, I think... This was like one of the first things I ever learned to do. Except when I learned to do it, I probably was frying my hair out because back in the G, I used to get perms. And I thought every little black girl, you know, knew how to do this. But my friend, her sister, do not know how to do this. We was just talking about the other day how I used to just straighten her hair. And now it's weird when I wear my hair straight because I don't know. Now the tricky part to this is when you are wrapping it, keeping it that. But for the most part, look, she cute. And my hair is actually growing, guys, like for the first time ever. Oh, and I'm so excited because I finally found that wet line gel. Like, I literally went all around the city. Of Dayton, Ohio. From store to store to store. Couldn't find it. And then as soon as I ordered it off Amazon, I found it in a one beauty supply store I did not check on the Humble. Because I was trying to find, like, uh, I was trying to find, like, a, a that, um, that African pride system for straightening your hair. It was like, or is it dark and lovely? Or whatever. I wanted to try it and I wanted to compare it. I 
wanted to compare it to what I know. But so far, I thought like using this setting lotion was gone. Mess me up. But it's not. And in case y'all want to know what kind of flat arms I'm using, um, these are like either the one inch or the one and a half, one and a half, one inch or one and a half inch um, Ghost Styling Arm by FHI Heat. And I got these a while ago on sale at uh, JC Penney's for the low. When the, I want to say when everybody first, when I first went natural, just because the deal was so unbelievable. But I haven't really used them that much because. I don't really straighten my hair that much and what I like to do is I like to keep my um my um my flat orange wiped off throughout the process oh shit sorry oh shite throughout the process because I don't like from the snag when you snag and stuff that causes like frizz and everything else like that and I'm just not about that I tried to create the best light for you, but I think because I got this lamp behind me on, you don't really get to see it. But I'm going to make sure you see everything at the end. I just want y'all to really see what I'm doing for the main part. But yeah, I like to wipe them off throughout the process. That's how you um, reduce frizz and stuff like that. You don't want a lot of frizz throughout your hair. Because if you get a lot of frizz... Blow drying your hair could become a waste of time. And if you don't get your hair that straight, blow drying it, it could become a waste of time. I'm going to pause it or stop it until I'm almost done. And then I'm going to come back. But just so you can see, hair is very shiny. All right. I'll be back in a minute. It shouldn't take that long. And then you'll see what I'm working with. I we. What's up, people? I'm coming back in, checking in. <sighs> this is what I have left to do. I come back looking like a cockatoo. Come back looking like a cockatoo. I know my hair looks real, real poofy. So I thought like I was gonna add some curls to it, but because my ends need a trim, I ain't gonna be able to do all that. So what I'm gonna do is just continue bumping it out. Yes, these ends though. And pray that this silk press does what it's supposed to. Does what it's supposed to. My hair is very shiny. It's just my end. I think I got them cut like May. I'm not going to cut them myself just because I got a thing where I get scissor happy. And when I get scissor happy, man. Any imperfection in my hair. Woo. I just start cut, 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 cut. So my hair has grown tremendously, like tremendously. <laughs> tremendously. I'm trying to keep up the adrenaline because I'm getting sleepy. I got my fan going. So I don't sweat out all this hard work, guys. This is just my little twist on how I straighten my hair. Like, look at her trying to have some length. And I know once I wrap it, it's not even going to be this full, like, no more. Not no more. Guys, see, I'm up there messing up. I mean, it looked like I'm walking around looking like a cockatoo, but it don't look like I got that much hair left to go. But man, listen, it's a lot when you're ready to be done. And I'm gonna be late with Monday's upload. I'm just slacking off my little tired self. I'm just making sure I get them edges. It's 
it would be so e much easier if I had a little clip. But, I will do it like that. It really don't take that long. It's just all the preparation that goes into it. Like, all the preparation that goes into it. And then I'm not used to wearing my hair straight neither, so. And then I'm just better at styling other people's hair. Um, I'm much better at styling other people's hair better than it better than mine's but when it comes to mine's like i haven't i don't really wear my hair straight so it'd be like <laughs> how i'm gonna wear it because when i wear it curly i just comb it back and stuff like that see like look at that shine that shine that shine that shine That shine is everything. And I thought it was gonna be, it was gonna make a big difference because I put that wrap lotion in my hair. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. And you can tell like that brown in there, that's from when I dyed it and I caught myself saying, I'm gonna monitor where it is. But it grew out a lot though. I wanna say at least about that much. So yeah. That's all I be doing, guys. Like, straightening hair is so much easy. I mean, so, so easy. And if you got a perm. Now, see how I just did this big old section like this? You don't want to you don't want to do that thick old section. So all you going to do is break it down, boo. Turn down the tempo. Oh. I'm going to split it in half. Comb it out. And guys, did I mention I'm like super tender headed? I'm like super duper tender headed. Look, I didn't switch to the dimming brush and everything. Anything to get that flat smoothness. See? You can use the dimming brush to work out them kinks. And I don't recommend going over two passes for real. Anything over two passes, bruh, is overkill. I had like a silvery gray hair. Ooh. So y'all know, y'all see what I'm doing? I'm trying to keep these videos down. So I'm going to finish this piece, come back, show y'all the results of that, and then show y'all how I finish off my silk press. I'll be back. Okay, guys, so I'm back. It took me about 45 minutes to do all of my straightening. Um, my straightening whatsoever. That's what the back of my hair looks like. I got body, but my ends, when I say they is destroyed, we're gonna see how my little um silk press come out. So, like I told you, the wrapping process. Get up in there, the routage. I'm gonna just come, 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 come. What you're gonna need is like a handheld or a sit, a sit under dryer. You're gonna need a stocking cap. Preferably one <laughs> that doesn't have a hole, but whatever. It's all good. And how I wrap my hair is I take the dimming brush because I just find it easy peasy. And mind you, I didn't put no curls in it. I might add something to it tomorrow just to see how I'm feeling. But I don't know, guys. Straightening my hair be a lot of work. That's why I be like on some wedding. Set it and go. And then you just take the wrapping motion. <laughs> and you just do that. Then you switch brushes to a hard brush. <laughs> and then you take this stocking cap. This is the brush I use, guys. This is a regular brush. Hard, bristle.
And when I'm putting it on, I'm twisting it. I'm twisting it. And the idea of it is not to lose the perimeter here. It's okay. It's really not. I didn't know that So, that's what something what you should look like. Now I'm gonna plug up my blow dryer and get it situated, and then you're gonna see me do this. It's better if you gotta sit under. You're gonna see me or something that you can hook on the end of your blow dryer that will trap the heat. And for 15 minutes, but if not, you're gonna have to put in extra work, though, like I'm about to. But it's okay. So give me one minute. Well, I look like, um, Conehead. Look like here and I and I. I have no idea why it's blurry like that. Whatever. 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 Whatever rocks, whatever. Take this dim and brush and brush it on now. Mm-hmm. 
Alright, so that is my little generic ass way of doing a, a cell press. Minus, I need my ends clip like yesterday's business. Like yesterday. Yeah, like yesterday I needed my ends clipped like yesterday. Okay. Okay, so I'm playing. Oh, shit. And it'll get better and flatter once I sleep on this shit. And stuff like that. And this is me with flat orange hair, everybody. So, any tips, leave it down in the comment section down below. Um, yeah. Please don't butcher my ends. I know, I know, I know. They look like a hot ass mess. My room smells like old... Funyuns and Fritos. Not the best smell in the world. And I got a pumpkin spice candle going. You know what I'm saying? I didn't put on my night clothes. Girl is about to wrap this hair up. My ends probably not going to look that bad tomorrow. After I um wrap it again, girl. And... Wrap it again and um look I don't even got the whole wrap going down. <laughs> I'm just ready to end this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I did not take all your time with this video. Sorry, my lighting is an issue. I never can get it right. Sorry for the late video. I know y'all are so sick. But I am not a prompt person. Um, I said I was going to do a set schedule. And I have been failing y'all at non-stop. Um, I just am not one to do. Um, I don't know. I try though. I really, really try. And... I really, really try. Or whatever. You see the progress with my hair. I have to wrap it up. Hopefully. If um it comes out better tomorrow, I'll probably post the pictures on Instagram. But till not till then I'm not gonna sweat it too much. I did what I did. Um yeah, if you have any questions about those, leave it in the comment section down below. If you got any tips for you, girl, leave it in the comment section down below. Normally, I sit under the big dryer, but because of how I have everything set up. <laughs> because of how I have everything set up, this light with this dim lighting over here um, being a factor. I was not able to sit under the big dryer and get all that out and stuff. Yeah, so there went that silk press. But, I mean, it's still pretty straight. I'm okay with it. Plus, once I wrap it and sleep under uh, on it tonight, it's going to be perfectly fine. It's going to be bone straight. Um, because of my ends, I wasn't able to add any curls to it. Oh, well, I'm pretty happy with the girls. Um... Yeah, it's late as hell, and if I want to get this video out in this decade, um, yeah, I got to get off of here. <laughs> Until next time, guys, I love you so much. Thank you so much for those of you who 
are supporting me by subscribing to my channel and if you're, you are new thank you so much for subscribing i really do appreciate it and until next time i do love you all and oh and if it say no later than 9 p.m no it's gonna be later than 9 p.m but mondays wednesdays saturdays <laughs> i pray i pray that it's hope for the ladies i've been looking at the natural soap for